Today I'm going to show you how to install TrueNest Scale. TrueNest Scale is pretty much a home server. You can run it on an old device you have, maybe you have an old desktop or a laptop, something like that. So anyway, let's uh, get started. First thing we need to do is go to Google and type TrueNest Scale. <coughs> go to the Community Edition. Click on Download. And now we'll go down to the bottom here and click No Thank You. Download the stable version. Now it's not a massive file, but it's a gig or two, so we'll just give it a couple of seconds. I'll skip forward though. There we go. Now, once that's downloaded, we need another piece of software. So let's go on Google, type in Rufus, Rufus, and then we're going to get this create a bootable USB. So this is Rufus. Scroll down. Let's get the portable version. It's not any difference. Okay, so now we have our two files. We have our Rufus and our TrueNAS ISO. So let's open up Rufus. Uh, you can pretty much click yes or no here. It doesn't really matter if you want updates. Right, so now we're going to need a blank USB. So let's go plug in a USB to our device. Give it a few seconds. There we go. So that's pretty much it. And then uh, we click select, pick our ISO. Yep, and that's pretty much all we need to do here. Click install. It's already on recommended. You can just click OK here. Click yes. It's going to give us a warning that we're wiping the drive. Yes. And then we wait. This takes a little while, but again, I'll skip forward. <coughs> so once this is done, what you're going to do then is take it out of this device and put it in your device that you want true NAS on. So we're nearly done. So while that's doing that, we'll go across and put it in our device and then boot from USB. And we'll come to this screen. This is where the fun begins. So let's click start true NAS installation. You'll get some scary black screen. And then let's do our install. So we're going to click here, press spacebar to select your drive, press enter, press enter again, and then we need to set a password. So let's set a password. Our, our user account will be truenas underscore admin. Press enter, click yes. Now it's going to start installing. As you can see, I fast forward a little bit there. But once we're about 56%, we should be near the end. Yep. All right. Now you need to take out the USB and reboot. So let's take it out. Click reboot. This time, it's going to reboot back into this screen. But when we click TrueNAS Scale GNU, we're going to get another black screen with lots of scary white text. This can take a while. 5-10 minutes so if I was you go off get a coffee but again I will skip forward a little bit so you don't have to watch as much but just an example here is the screen once this is all finished you're gonna come to another screen and it's gonna have some options and an IP address we want that IP address 192.168.189.129 so on our other PC we're gonna go to that put in that IP address Click enter and here we are. So now we need our user, truenas underscore admin, and then the password we set earlier. Click login and that's it. We are in. TrueNAS is installed. Um, just to, I don't know, give you a little bit of an example, we'll show you what some things you could add. So let's add something like Plex. Oh wait, I need to uh, refresh the catalog of apps. Here we go, give it a second. Yeah, Plex. There's Plex, maybe you want Sonar. Sonar, that's pretty much it. That's us pretty much done. From here, you can expand. I'll probably do another video on what you can do, but if you enjoyed this, I hope you did. Leave a like, if not, uh, 
never mind.